Hackers love this patch mistake, and you're probably making it. One missed patch and millions of social security numbers, bank details, personal information, all gone. Stolen, sold, exploited. In 2017, a major credit bureau left several sensitive records exposed, all because of a single mistake. This wasn't some genius hacking movement. It was rather an open invitation for the hackers to destroy everything. But it isn't just a one-time mistake. Even today, 60% of data breaches happen because of non-vulnerabilities. The companies know about them, but they leave them missed, ignored or delayed. And that's exactly what hackers need. So what's really going on? Why are patches ignored? And more importantly, what even is a patch? In this video, we're going to cover it all. So what is a patch? A patch is a small piece of software. It's designed to update a program or operating system to fix issues or address vulnerabilities. You can think of a patch as a quick fix, just like patching a hole in the wall. It targets specific issues, whether that's fixing a bug, closing a security loophole or increasing efficiency. The problem is that flaws are found on systems and software over time. These flaws can be bugs or vulnerabilities that attackers or hackers might exploit. And patches are meant to address these exact flaws, keeping everything running smoothly. In the world of Linux, patches are generally delivered as package updates. These updates can affect core packages like the kernel or even software libraries that support other programs. Linux package managers like apt or yum help distribute these patches. They make sure patches are applied correctly and that the system stays up to date. Even on a single server, these patches can have a huge impact on keeping things running without any issues. So a patch isn't some big upgrade or overhaul. It's instead the focused, often small change which is meant to fix something really specific. Even if you have just one server running Linux, those small patches can make a huge difference in keeping it secure and stable. There are different types of patches, and understanding each type is very important. This is because not all patches are the same, but they all need careful attention. The first type are security patches. These are usually the most urgent ones. When a security vulnerability is found, malicious actors can try to exploit it to break into a system. They can steal data, they can even cause damage. And therefore, security patches address these vulnerabilities. These patches are so crucial because they act as a shield against real-time attacks. If you wait too long, you end up calling hackers to misuse your system and most importantly, misuse your data. Then there are bug fixes. Bugs are problems in the code that cause a program or system to malfunction in unexpected ways, but not necessarily a security problem. They might cause a system to crash, to freeze, or even to slow down. I know, bug fixes might not sound as urgent as security patches to you, but they are really important for the health of the system. For example, a bug that causes frequent crashes can disrupt your server or application. This can also lead to downtime or data loss. And finally, we have feature updates. These are typically different from patches because they introduce new functionality or breaking changes to existing features. For example, a feature update might add a new capability to a program, or improve its efficiency. While feature updates don't usually address a pressing issue like security flaws or bugs, they still play an important role in keeping your system modern and performing at its best. While patches come in very different shapes and sizes, there's one thing they all have in common. They all contribute to the system's overall performance and security. But it's really important to understand how patches are different from upgrades. When you look at them, both patches and upgrades might seem similar at first. After all, they both involve updating software. However, a very big difference between two of them. A patch is generally just a small difference in the code. Even if you are deploying an entire updated package to receive the patch, the actual code difference is pretty minor. It's aimed at addressing a specific issue, whether a security vulnerability or a bug. It doesn't require a major overhaul of the system. An upgrade, on the other hand, often involves a larger scale change. In this, the software system might get a whole new version. Upgrades can bring new features, functionalities, but they also require more time, effort and testing. And they might also disrupt the system for a while. Let's focus on patches. As I said, while those are just minor changes, they are still incredibly important. A single overlooked patch can have disastrous consequences. For example, a crucial security patch for a vulnerability in the kernel could be the difference between protecting your system from hackers or protecting you from becoming the next victim of a cyber attack. The importance of patching becomes even clearer when you look at the bigger picture. Every piece of software you run, whether it's the Linux kernel, a database, a web server, an application, is a target for hackers. Hackers are always on the lookout for vulnerabilities. Also, they take no time in exploiting those vulnerabilities when they find them. But how can a patch protect you from such massive attacks? And why is it so important? Before we jump into the next chapter, let me mention something that can be a game changer when it comes to managing your systems. If you are running Ubuntu 20.04, you know that support will eventually come to an end. 
But that doesn't mean your system has to be left vulnerable. With our endless lifecycle support for Ubuntu 2004, you can continue receiving security updates and patches even after official support ends. Taxcare Solution helps ensure your system stays secure and up-to-date without worrying about the immediate need to upgrade. Now you might wonder, why is patch management so crucial? Patching might seem like a routine task, but it's actually one of the most important things you can do to keep your system safe. Yet, despite its importance, there are so many organizations that love to neglect this entirely. But ignoring patches is far more dangerous than applying them. So the question is, how can it be so dangerous? See, there's no doubt about the fact that cybercriminals love unpatched systems. They don't need to come up with new ways to break in when there are already known vulnerabilities waiting to be exploited. In fact, a shocking 60% of data breaches in 2019 were caused by security flaws that had patches available, but were not applied. That means that most of those attacks could have been prevented just by keeping the systems up to date. Once a vulnerability becomes public, hackers move fast. They create tools to target, they scan the internet for systems that haven't been patched, and then they break in. If an organization doesn't patch quickly, it's basically leaving the door open for attackers. But security isn't the only reason why patching is so important. Bugs in software can cause all sorts of problems. Random crashes, low performance, even complete system failures. A minor issue might not seem like it's such a big deal at first, but over time it can lead to serious downtime. Imagine a Linux server running an outdated kernel that has a memory leak. At first, it might just seem like a little sluggish, but if left unpatched, that memory leak could eventually cause the whole system to crash. And if that server is running something important, like a website, a database, or a critical business application, every minute of downtime means lost productivity, a lot of frustrated users, and potential revenue loss. For IT teams, keeping systems stable and running smoothly is just as important as keeping them secure. There's also another major reason why patching matters, and that is compliance. Many industries, like finance and healthcare, have strict rules about keeping systems up to date. Failing to apply security patches doesn't just put data at risk. It can also break industry regulations, leading to fines, failed audits, and legal trouble. But even if there aren't any legal consequences, a company's reputation is always on the line. Customers trust business to protect their information. If a data breach happens because of a simple and patch vulnerability, that trust is shattered in seconds. And once a company loses credibility, it's really, really hard to earn it back. So why do so many organizations still hesitate to patch? One reason is fear. The fear that an update will break something and cause even bigger problems. Another reason is downtime. Some patches require reboot, and no one wants to take systems offline, especially in 24-7 business environments. And then there's the volume of patches. In large companies, managing updates across hundreds or thousands of devices can feel overwhelming. Managing hundreds of patches across so many systems just compounds the problem. But no matter how inconvenient patching might seem, the alternative is far, far worse. A data breach, a system failure, or a compliance violation can cost far more time, more money, and effort than simply staying up to date. At this point, one thing should be absolutely clear. Patching is not optional. It's non-negotiable. It's compulsory and it is your key to keep the bigger problems away. But what actually happens when patches are ignored? What do companies deal with? Well, there are many companies that have paid the price for delaying updates, and trust me when I say this, you don't want to deal with it. There are some mistakes in IT that don't just cause minor issues. They make big headlines, cost millions, and ruin reputations. But the worst part, many of these disasters could have been avoided with one single step. And that is applying a patch on time. Let's look at three major cybersecurity failures where ignoring patches led to big disasters. In 2017, Equifax, which is one of the largest credit reporting agencies in the world, suffered a data breach. The breach was so massive that it shook the entire industry. But how did this massive breach ha happen? Well, hackers exploited a known vulnerability in Apache Struts, a web application framework used by Equifax. This flaw was discovered months earlier. In fact, a patch was readily available, only no one applied it. This simple oversight landed the personal data of 147 million people in the wrong hands. The data included names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and everything you can think of. This fallout was brutal. It called for so many lawsuits, government investigations, and a 700 million lawsuit settlement. That's not it. People lost their faith and trust in Equifax overnight. Everything that Equifax had earned in so many years, they lost it all. In just one night. And all of it could have been prevented with a patch that was already sitting there, just waiting to be installed. But if you are thinking that nothing worse can happen due to a patch, you are wrong. Because that same year, 
Another attack made global headlines. It was none other than WannaCry. This ransomware outbreak spread faster than anyone could have imagined. This was no less than a wildfire. This was hitting businesses, hospitals and government agencies in over 150 countries. It worked by exploiting a known vulnerability in Windows, one that Microsoft had patched two months earlier. But many organizations, for one reason or another, had not installed the update. As a result, infected machines were locked down with the demand for ransom in bitcoins flashing on their screens. The UK's National Health Service, for example, was among the hardest hits, with hospitals forced to cancel appointments and turn away patients. In a world where IT downtime can mean lost money, for hospitals it meant several lives at risk. Again, this disaster wasn't caused by some top-notch never-before-seen cyber weapon. It was an attack that could have been stopped by applying an update that had already been released. But what happened in 2014 was far worse. That year, a flaw called Shellshock was found in Bash. It was a command line shell used in countless Linux and Unix based systems, and still is, and the moment security experts saw it, they knew it was bad. It allowed attackers to run commands remotely and give them full control over a system. Organizations rushed to patch it. But here's the crazy part. Years later, today, many systems were still vulnerable. Even in 2023, Shellshock was still being exploited. Why? Because some companies never patched, but hackers never stopped looking. They kept scanning, knowing that they'd still find and patch systems. And they did. There's a lesson that everyone should learn from these incidents. These are not just some random stories from the past. They are proof that skipping patches leads to real-world disasters. Stolen data, locked systems, financial losses, and shattered rust. Cyber criminals don't need new tricks when old vulnerabilities stay open. So remember, ignoring patches is like leaving your front door wide open in a neighborhood full of burglars. And as story history shows, the price of that mistake can be devastating. So don't miss out on more such disasters, breakthroughs and amazing insights. We hope you enjoyed this patching primer. Stay tuned for part 2, where we will dig deeper into more advanced topics and practices for all your patching needs.